Adult social care is help given to people over 18 who um, need help in the home, um, help to live, help to get around the house, help to toilet, help to feed, help to bath, that kind of thing. Well, the key issue is there isn't enough of it. Um, the budgets have been cut, uh, an estimated up to one million people aren't receiving the care that they need and are frail and uh, at, at home and needing help. Um, and uh, there's a chronic shortage of uh, staff as well. There's 120,000 staff in adult social care that, uh, that is missing. So I think the main thing is that um, to fix the funding of social care, to boost investment and to try to uh, make steps to get far, far more of the workforce shortages plugged. We've convened this event today because year after year, governments have failed to tackle the social care, what is now a crisis. Um, there's been white paper after white paper, green paper, numerous commissions, lots of options on the table, uh, and, and some of them have got so far as to get onto the statute book, but they have not been enacted. So there's political failure here, which is fairly disgraceful, and we now think that, that the social care system is at such at a tipping point that something now needs to be done. Three main things now need to be done. Firstly, the, there needs to be cross-party consensus, political will to get um, reform over the line for social care. Second, the reform means greater investment into social care services to support people at home in the way they need. And third is to um, make every effort to plug the workforce gaps, which are producing chronic workforce shortages, which is probably just as big an issue as the investment issue.